Now you got to pay attention. And uh, Father, you know, um, there are many businesses, local businesses in Bermuda, who are talking about and are doing and have done sending the rock abroad. They're sending it abroad so that they believe that they'll make more money because if they pay Bermudians, they'll run out of money or cash or whatever. Now, but when you want a taxi and you call or you want a phone number and you call, you call for the phone number and they're putting you back in India somewhere and they do not work, know where North Shore is. We're not paying attention. That's, these are things we've got to pray for. I called a few weeks back and asked for Hasco's phone number. Who's Hasco? Never heard of him. You know who Hasco is? Hasco has a warehouse down by SALs, down the road. They don't know where they are. They can't give you the phone number. They don't know the address even of SAL. This is what we're dealing with. And God says, we are worrying, and we are. Every little thing we're worrying about. I think of my baby right here. She's going away in another week or two. I know what her mom must feel in her heart because she has to have surgery. Looking at her, she's not worrying about but inside she could be concerned. And we're going to pray because we're not here next week. Our worrying spills over on others. There are so many people worrying about the next paycheck if it's coming. Or the food. Where is it coming from? The electricity. How are you going to pay the bills? Jesus is saying today, put worry aside. I take care of the birds. I take care of the lilies. I, they don't have to worry. They don't work. The birds don't have barns to gather food to put in them. Do you think you are of less value? You are more valuable to me, God say. You are more valuable to me than the birds and the lilies. I will supply your every need, not one. Not two, not three, not the things of the past, but your every need now. God said, I'll supply you. And I'm closing with this. You are so special to God. He said, stop worrying about tomorrow. Stop worrying about what you're going to wear, what you're going to eat. 
Stop worrying. In this message, I'm talking to myself. I worry about the church. I worry about the oh, whatever. I don't mind. I'm concerned. But when God gave me that, I sat at my computer yesterday in the tears. I said, God, this is not just for the people. I even forgot it was you Sunday. And they normally, normally do their own thing. God is an awesome God. He said, but we are worrying about things we should not be worrying about. Cast your cares upon me. That's what he's saying to us today. Cast. Throw them. Upon me. Tell me. That you want me to help you. I'll help you. I'm, I'm just sitting here waiting for you to say. Help me. Help me. Jesus. I'm knocking on your door. For some help. Now. I paid my tithes and. Here lately, I haven't been able to do it, but I've still got it stored up and it's still sitting there waiting. And Lord, now, um, I need help. I don't know how you're going to do it, where it's going to come from, but I need help. And I don't want to worry. I don't want worry to chip away at my face. We want our faith to be built up. Built up. Built up. Built up. And so, Father, today, I'm not going to worry about tomorrow. I'm not going to worry about what I'm going to eat. What I am going to wear. I'm not going to worry about tomorrow, Lord. I'm asking you now. I mean, need now, now, now. I need to make a withdrawal on my deposit. And Father, in the name of Jesus, I call on you to release that deposit, whatever they are in need of. Release the monies they are in need of. Release the healing. Release them, oh God, these things to your people. That they may walk out of here joyful because you have done it in the name of Jesus. I don't want to worry about my kids. I don't want to worry about my spouse or my friends or the church. God, I release it all to you in the name of Jesus. The altars have been concerns I give to you, Lord. I don't 
want to worry one iota about anything. I desire to be free in you, God. I desire to have your mind and your heart and your spirit. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. And I thank you in advance for supplying my every need. Thank you in advance, oh God. Thank you in advance. Thank you. Pull down the stronghold of worry. We release your peace in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. 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 These are your children. And they are need. Every need differs. As you overshadowed Mary and Jesus was formed in the womb, nothing's too hard for you to do. As you caused the cripple to walk and the dumb to talk and the blind to see, it's nothing to hard for you to do. You set the planets, the oh God in the heavens. There's nothing too hard for you to do. You put Bermuda in the middle of the Atlantic with nothing around us but water. You placed us here. Folk are coming from everywhere to come to Bermuda a place that you set up and you had it on your blueprint Lord God now we turn this island back over to you not men but to you cause every need to be supported your peace to rest upon us. Thank you, Lord. In advance for the wonders that you are going to do and perform. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Father. Father, remember every family that's traveling, taking their kids back or being on vacation. And Michaela, her mom, Caleb, his parents, Sophia, her baby. Remember, Sister Tara, she travels with Terry. Open doors, God. And the key as he travels back to school, open doors. Chris, open doors. Have your angels and camp around them. Go before them, oh God. Remember the Bremers on vacation. Sister Ball, oh God. 
Sister Goodchild, as she leaves, oh God, open doors for her to witness at the hospital. Ah, yes, Rarabah. And every backslidden person that is going out from this church, draw them in, oh God. Let the spirit of conviction fall upon them in the name of Jesus. And those who are struggling because of being just on pensions and not making it, Lord God. I'm asking for every need to be supplied this day because your word says it's to be your word not our word your word says it's to be and as we prepare as we go down to the tent this week of God we ask for souls to be saved Pray for the confirmant service of Dr. Armstrong, oh God. I pray, God, that such an anointing will be at the church. Let it so be. Thank you for the work that he's done and how he has blessed us with your word. Father, I thank you. Keep us safe as we travel to our different destinations. Remember those who are mourning, oh God. One day we will see them again. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thy kingdom come and thy will be.